Welcome back guys, I'm Muni from SumatoTutorials.net. In this tutorial, we are going to integrate GitHub Auth login uh, using CorePHP. The logic for integrating GitHub Auth login to CorePHP applications are developed using uh, frameworks like Laravel, Codeigniter, KPHP is the same. So I will cover the integration of GitHub Auth login with the frameworks like Laravel, uh, KPHP, Codeigniter and separate tutorial. So let's integrate GitHub Auth login using CorePHP. Please check the video description for the demo and download link. Let's get started. Uh, first, create a project in a uh, Oxpace or SDOX dub dub folder. So, I am opening terminal and creating new project called uh, OAuth2. The next, time I am opening it in my uh, favorite editorial studio code. Um, inside project folder, I am creating uh, three files. Also, I am creating a uh, few more directories. Uh, inside that okay so inside the css folder i'm creating a new file called style.css uh, now add the html snippet in index.php so it when someone click on that i'm redirecting to the github login.ph file okay so uh, include the style dot css we just create okay i open style dot css and i'm copy pasting some styles that i have already added now open this is all so now someone's click on that it will be redirect to the log data login dot php Next, in order to integrate GitHub Auth plugin uh, to your project, we need GitHub Auth plugin. I'm, I'm using Auth2 GitHub plugin, so also I'm installing that using Composer. If you have not installed Composer already, then go to the site and download and install Composer in your, uh, in your system. Once you install Composer successfully, type Composer in your terminal. If you get the following option, that means you successfully installed Composer. Now. Uh, go to this github page and copy this command and you must be in the terminal uh, in your project root that means I'm in worth 2 now uh, paste the command and hit enter it will download that so also it suggests to install few more uh, plugins we successfully installed all required uh, uh, plugins for the with GitHub integrations. Next, uh, we need to include the auto load file that is generated by Composer uh, in our applications. So I am planning to keep all config re relation stuff in the one file. So for that, what I'm doing, I'll create config folder. Inside that, I will create index dot page file. Inside that, I will keep all config relation related stuff. So I, I included the auto load.php that is generated by the composer on the top of it. I'll also, I keep the base path of the applications and DB related details. Finally, I will keep the GitHub uh, application related details. So next, we need to create a GitHub applications um, to authenticate in users. So for that, you need to log into your GitHub account and uh, click on settings and click on developer settings and cl click on register new application give the application name and callback url this will be read by the github once you successfully log in to github account okay now click on rest applications you will get a client id um, and client secret keep it both the things in your uh, next to open the github login dot page file and uh, include the con uh, config file that just we created that is index.ph file then um, we we need to once the user click on this login uh, login button we need to redirect the user to the github login page okay for that um, we need to include that uh, github plugin and set the client id and client secret and callback url to this so this provider will generate the uh, login url so once we get the url we redirect the user to the github login page so let's check this so save and uh, click on 
log in with github button now we are getting some errors so it's because of random bytes is included from uh, 7 so but we are using page 5.6 so in order to fix this uh, we already uh, installed this plugin recognize random compact so in order to support the page 5.6 we need to re uh, decrease the version of uh, this plugin so open composer.json file and replace the version like this okay now run the composer update yeah now we successfully updated now reload the page yeah we got the uh, authorization url so now command this so now reload it will be redirected to the uh, github login page so where you need to enter your uh, username password once you entered okay once you entered it asks to authorize so once you authorize it will be redirected to the the callback url you are given to the github uh, applications that is call, github callback.php now open github callback.php file the uh, same manner we need to include config file and uh, just copy this Uh, we are checking the uh, invalid state if it is invalid state we are uh, we are exiting if it is everything is okay then we are getting access token from the github once we get the token we'll using that token we get the user informations okay now go to uh, reload and because we have not started the session yet so best Store, we need to start the session first in order to use the session so adding the session start to the config file okay now go to the git uh, login page and click on that we already logged in once it automatically gets login it redirects to the uh, github uh, callback url we given so in the callback we get the token using the token we get the user information using this user information we will uh, write the custom logic to check whether the user is already existing in our database or not if we need to create i have created src directory inside the src directory i create a db.php and the user.php the db.php will handle the database connections uh, so it will make a video connection to the mysql database we use the configuration uh, details we defined in the config.ph index.php in the config folder okay um next in the user.ph we uh, already written a logic to check uh, the whether user is already registered or not if it is not registered it will register if it is already registered it will log in the particular user in our applications okay once user successfully logged in in the application we will be redirecting the user to the home.php so go and create home.php yeah in the home.php um, uh, in the top we include the config index.php file and uh, call the check login if user is not logged in we will redirect the user back to the login page if it is user is logged in then the user can able to see the login page also need to create uh, one more file called flash messages uh, it will show the user uh, indication whether user is logged in or if there is an any issue it, it will show the indication to the users before we read it if it is success i am setting the session success if it is error i am checking the uh, session error okay if based on that i am displaying the messages once the message is displayed i am setting unsetting the session uh, we already set okay now in the index.php also just include the uh, co configuration file also include the flash message file that's just we created okay now try directly try to access home.php you see uh, it displays that you are not allowed to access this page also add uh, some stylings to access home.php yeah so it displays the message called you are not allowed now 
click on login dot github page once we got the user informations we are forming the array i'm passing that array to the check login function that we created in the user.ph file in the check login functions we will check uh, whether the email is exist uh, of the particular user if it is exist we will keep that information the user user with the email also we will check uh, the particular user information that is exist in the meta table okay if the email already exist then we will register uh, the particular uh, user information in the only in the user meta table if it is not user email is not exist we will create a user and also we will say the extra information the user meta uh, if everything is there then we will update the only meta uh, user meta table okay that's it everything once everything is there we will call finally call the login.php we will set the session and redirect the user to the home.php okay now check the login functionality click on login it's because we are not included the user.php file just include now start from first So now click on login, after login it will be redirected to the uh, home.php with the success message. So click on logout. So for logout, create a new file called logout.php file. Okay. Once uh, user click on this logout link, it will be redirect the user to the logout.php in the logout.php we will set the session uh, unset and uh, we will start the session and set the message and redirect the user to the back to the index.php file click on logout yeah automatically locked up yeah we successfully integrated github over the login so please check the video description for the demo or download link also leave your commands if there is any issue integration of github login thanks for watching please subscribe and uh, press the bell icon to get the updates immediately